All right, guys, so I'm going to show a technique, uh, but first, kind of just uh, kind of my control details that I like to use from the technique first. So we're going to start from the collar pants, just like so. Maybe it's best to So basically, from this collar pants scenario here, I have a spider guard grip, kind of in the, in the pant grip here, just like so. And I make a cross collar. Now, why do I make a cross collar? I have the cross collar because I also like to play various variations of collar sleeve. And if I lose everything, I also have a nice collar back here. So just keep that in mind. That's why I prefer the cross collar over the near side collar, like so, okay? So I have this cross collar, and normally the guy's gonna push my right leg in between, like this, exactly. Because normally from here, he, he starts setting up his main attacks, normally he has a, some sort of a knee cut or some sort of a side smash. Now, what I like to do, <coughs> just, when I'm first teaching this position, when he puts the leg in between, I like to just know how to defend his main two attacks. Now his main two attacks, like I said before, is a side smash and a knee cut. So how do I, just de how do I defend these two positions? So when he starts to knee cut me, right away I turn my knee to the left, just like so. And now it's very, very difficult to try and knee cut me because my hips are completely on the other side. He needs my hips on my right side in order for him to get a really strong knee cut, right? So. And how do I defend the side smash? So when he tries to side smash me, again, I try and open my right knee to the other side. But sometimes with the side smash, the guy's a little too heavy or it gets a little too far gone and I need to know how to bail from this position, right? So I keep my cross collar grip always, always, always keep this cross collar grip because I have such, such a strong pull and such a strong push as well. I can like kind of push in his karate, I suppose. So I can kind of push here and it's very, very annoying for my opponent. So I'm here and he starts going for the side smash and maybe he's just too far gone. Right away I let go of my pan grip and get up to my elbow. And now from here I can just start pushing away and stand up or I can push away enough to re-engage into my guard again. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This is just the first small drill just for a few minutes that we're gonna do. He's gonna push my leg in between. He's gonna go for a knee cut. I, I block him by switching my hips to the other side while keeping my cross collar grip. And now he goes for a side smash and I open and maybe he's too strong. So he keeps going and I right away I get up onto my elbow and start pushing away, pushing away. And then I can, if I want, I can just stand up or if I like, I can re-engage however you want to. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So one more time. Again, I have, once again, it's a spider grip. I'm not controlling like this and I'm not controlling the ankle. And I have my cross collar, he steps over. He starts going for his knee cut. I switch my hips to the left. He starts going in for a side smash. I start opening. And if best case scenario, I would be able to switch my hips to the right, right? But let's say he, I fail, and right away I let go of my pan grip, and I get up on my elbow, I really, I move out, kind of like a circular motion here, to get up to my elbow as, as efficiently as possible. And I start pushing away as I move my left knee out, just like so. And now I can either stand up and re-pull, or I can just stay on my knee and pull like this. And if I stay on my knee like so, it's not considered uh, I'm standing. So if he does take me down from here or something, I'm still at no, no points for him, okay? So just keep that in mind. Any questions? So? Um, but if it's, it's like they're defended, their A pass, their B pass, sure. then what are they gonna go C with the X suite, you know? Is they gonna well, I find, I try and keep very tight in this position. Sometimes I even like to do what Dom likes to do, where he wraps his right leg over his left. And I find it very, very difficult for him to do any other passes other than these two. That's why I like this position so much, because I already know his main two passes. Does that answer your question? Uh, I was gonna say, when they go, when they're gonna go X pass at the end after they go side smash, how do you bring yourself out? Yeah, right there, with that oh, like this. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I, I'll try and keep him in my leg with my right leg. Like so, and then I'll stand up, and I really try and just keep this away. And from here, I'd, I'd honestly try and just stand up. If I feel like that threat is like imminent, yeah. I would just stand up. If I don't feel like that's a big threat, then I just pull guard again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Any other questions? Let's try it. Oh, what's up? What do you mean by, uh, can you show me what you mean by switching your hips to the left and switching your hips sure, to the right? Course. So what I mean by when he knees cut me, 
when he knee cuts me, see how I, I slightly shift my hips? Because with the knee cut, his hip, my hips are gonna be on, on the right side, correct? So as he knee cuts, I switch my hips to the left. And as he side smash, I try and open my hip to the right. That's kind of what, that's kind of what it means there. Let's give it a try. One, two, three. And a few more like key tips I find is from this position, I don't actually really play with his daily heel hook that much. I keep a nice pinch with my calf kind of on his hamstring here, just like so. Just a nice pinch. So now it's very, very difficult for the guy to do this basic pass here where he brings his knee over the shin. Exactly, and breaks my grip and breaks everything. And even if he does this, remember it's the same concept. So if he does do this pass, he steps over. Again, same concept. I push him away and stand up if I need to, or, uh, or I stay on my knee and then I re-pull, right? So now, once as we get into the sweep here, my again, I, everything is the same. So now from, from here, what I like to do is I, I bring my right foot kind of in the middle of his, his butt, I guess you could say here. So in my, I'm gonna pull, and I pull diagonally, like so. And when I pull, I'm waiting for this trigger in a way, in my mind, for his hand to post on the mat. And normally when I pull, the, the main reaction for the other guy is to pull back and kind of, uh, not allow himself to be posted on the mat because if he's easily if he's just completely posted on the mat it's very easy to circle and kick for x card right <coughs> but the main reaction that i've always found is that as i pull and he touches his hand on the mat I right away i keep this in the air i extend i extend as i stand up just like so okay and make sure you pull yourself back as well. oh, okay so again i lift he puts his hand on the mat and he exactly starts pulling himself back and I extend everything away. I'm lifting this grip in the air and I push everything and it's very easy to even just knock him over. But on a very, very good guy, he's gonna stay standing, right? And we'll go over how to finish that in a second. So again, I have the pants in the collar. My leg is in between. I'm kind of waiting here for a second. When I feel the time is right, I lift and he starts pulling back. And as he goes that, I push everything away. Now my, my goal as well is to keep this foot off the mat because when that foot get, hits the mat, he's a lot stronger there, right? And what I'm doing with my hips is very important as well. So as I lift and he posts his hand on the mat, I switch my hips to the left, like so. Okay, so I'm switching my hips to the left and this allows me to easily bring my leg underneath and kick up. So one more time. So I bring him, I lift. I switch my hips and stand up very easy. It seems like a very fluid motion, right? And this hip switch is what allows me to kind of stand up. Also, from a basic X guard, like so, normally uh, you sweep the guy with your right hip on the mat, just like this. You can come up like so. See how my right hip is on the mat? This sweep is, I feel like, what makes it so successful is that you're completely switching your hips to the other side. So again. I lift, I feel this, this uh, reaction here. His hand pulses on the mat for just a second. That's my trigger to go. I push everything away and stand up. As I keep this grip elevated for as long as I can. On a very strong guy, of course, he's gonna probably put his foot on the mat, but that's okay. I just keep standing up here and work from here, okay? Well, last time, then we'll get into the finish. And he stands up with me. So now from here, it's, it's actually like a very, very unfair resting position because I not only have uh, 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 upper body control, but I also can control like the, I suppose, leg. the leg. Yeah, the leg, but I can, <laughs> I can control how, yeah, how, how high and how low his leg is, okay? So from here, I'll start pulling him down. And my whole goal is to get him to post his hand on the mat. And when he posts his hand on the mat, that's when I run forward and finish the position. It's like another trigger, I guess you'd say. Well, let's say I'm here and I'm trying to run him down and most of the reactions will push back and that's when I push right back down. And rather than pushing the leg through, I find that when I watch the videos, I push my leg, his leg in between my legs. So just keep that in mind. So from the beginning,
And then this time when he, uh, when he pulls back. And then right away, I don't want to be stuck in this arm drag position. So right away, if you feel yourself here, pull, pull back right away. Okay. Any questions? What's up? Why are you pulling uh, I just find that what I found from, I guess, experience in the position, I just find it's not as strong. I don't know why, but when I lift and I come up, I find I don't have as much pull and push here, but I find when I'm more, uh, what's the word, square, I find I have more of a push to take him over rather than when I kind of change this. Like so, I find it's easier to push forward rather than to the side, if that makes sense. And then why don't you <coughs> clean the lag up as soon as it's falling too fast? Is there a reason or uh, fall I just find they fall really fast and strong and I just I'd rather stabilize the position. Yeah. Any more questions? Oh, no, so at any time you're you not know using the outside. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just to kind of keep him stable in that position. And you kind of elevate as you come up. Of course. Like of course I always keep that's a good point, actually. Sorry. As I lift, I always keep this leg in the air, attached to his body for as long as I possibly can, because I don't want him to somehow jump over the mount here or just jump over and pass my guard. So I always keep this high, even when I'm standing up. And now when I've built up the base on my other leg, now I can jump to the mat. Yeah, and like they're very away, strong. Right? And they kind of back away, right? Sure, sure. They kind of like squat, and uh, I'm not able to get uh, get that position. Sure, that's a that's kind of a whole other position in a way. But if the guy's just really, really strong, and I lift, and he just stays really far back, sometimes I can extend away and just start standing up without without the whole elevation. But this is, I feel like, the most um, the position I use most is this variation. There's so many variations of the same position. But this is the most used variation. So when you do this variation, are you the same thing? Are you like, are you like turning your, your hip like yeah, a little of course. bit more, just like a little bit more? Of course, that, so I can easily fit in my left leg. Okay. Yeah. Close. Any more questions? We're good? Let's try. One, two, three.